come and join the Play the Game forums at playthegamecentral.com, the home for Call of Duty Zombies. Safe, my name is Ryan Simon. Welcome back to Play the Game Central. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade the Wrath of Ancients in the Eisendracher. Now, in this particular guide, we'll be upgrading it to the Krima Arm La Arm Arm, or what is much easier to say, the Lightning Bow. So, guys, before I get started, if you can like this video, that'll be fantastic. So, your first step is to feed all of the dragons. The first of three you will encounter will be in the courtyard at the entrance of the castle. The second will be at the far end wall of the church. And the third will be in the tombs next to the pyramid. These do not have to be done in any particular order. Once you've fed all three dragons, head upstairs from the tomb and behind the knight on his deathbed, you will find the Wrath of Ancients. Step 2 is acquiring the Lightning Arrow. To do this, you need to activate the death rate, pull out your bow and shoot the golden compass up on the tower up here. If you hit it correctly, it will set on fire and spin around and will release the Lightning Arrow. Just wait until the death ray is safe and then you can go and pick it up. For step 3, you need to light 3 bonfires that are found outside the map. You'll need to charge your shot to hit these, and again, in no particular order. One is down on the lower parts of the castle next to the clock tower. One is on the cliff side overlooking the rocket launch facility. And a good way to hit this one in particular is if you charge your shot and line up your crosshair with the tip of this mountain in the distance there, you will hit the bonfire dead on. And another is on a hill right next to the rocket launch area. So for step 4, you need to go back to the tomb area and head to the pyramid. Around the pyramid will be four square panels you need to step on for a few seconds to activate them. After all four are activated, the area will fluctuate in and out with low gravity. During a period where the gravity is gone, you need to wall run all around the tomb and run on these glowing panels on the wall. The panels have a symbol that resembles wind on them. Every time you'll hit one, they'll start glowing and you'll hear this noise. And once you've hit all five around the tomb before the gravity stops, you will hear this noise signaling that you have completed this step. For step 5, you need to find 3 electrified urns, and you need to kill around 5 zombies around these urns to charge them up. One of these urns is inside the clock tower. Once the urn is charged up, pull out your bow and charge a shot while you're standing next to the urn, and you'll notice that your arrow will electrify. Hold this charged shot, then shoot the bonfires that you shot earlier again, and if you hit them successfully, a bolt of lightning will strike them and the flames will be mixed in with electricity. The second urn can be found in the entrance courtyard on the way to the Wonder Sphere, and again for this shot, line up your crosshair with the tip of the mountain. The last electrified urn will be in the rocket base tunnel, just on the floor down here, and again shoot the final bonfire. Step 6. Head back to where you found the original lightning arrow. You'll notice that the compass will be on fire and the spot where you picked it up from will be electrified. If you go back there and put the pieces of the arrow back, it will disappear into the flame for a few seconds and then come back reforged as a full arrow. Take this arrow back to the pyramid and place it on the pedestal with the lightning symbol on it. You'll notice that the arrow will rise up into the air. And step seven, all you have to do now is kill a load more zombies around the electrified arrow. Once it's fully charged, take your bow out, approach the pedestal, and hold square on the arrow to trade in your bow, and then your bow will be transformed into the lining bow. And that, my friends, is how you get the lining bow. I must say, once you have this thing, you might be slightly unstoppable. Charged shots make a ridiculous electricity vortex, which are basically on par with a Grush device, and they still do no splash damage at all. It is literal easy mode. And that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you can, again, please like this video. And also, our forums are open, so go and check us out on the forums. Come meet us there and talk about zombies. You will not be disappointed. So safe. My name is Wang Time. I'll leave you a long time, and I'll see you next time on Play the Game Central. Ta-da.